Each IRI has, usually has its own scoring system where the developer of the IRI has developed, uh, recommends certain ways of marking different types of errors. The errors that we're looking for include mispronunciations, so the student sees a word and doesn't pronounce it exactly correctly. Substitutions is another error we're looking for where the word in the text might be pretty and the student instead says beautiful. Hasn't changed the meaning but substitutes one word for another. That would be considered an error. Another error that we look for are hesitations. A student just doesn't know a word, struggles with it. We generally recommend giving that student about three to five seconds to attempt the word. If they can't get it, the teacher can pronounce that word for them and that is considered an error. Omitted words, each omitted word counts as an error. Transposed words, so if the text says the servant cooked and cleaned, the student might read the servant cleaned and cooked. That happens sometimes. That would be two errors. Each word that was transposed or substituted would count as an error. Insertions count as errors on an IRI. What we don't count as errors are self-corrections, where the student makes a mistake and then corrects themselves within a short period of time, within seconds, we don't count that as an error. Repetitions don't count as error. That's where a student would say um, a word more than once. Students will read along and say, the dog, the dog, the dog ran. That would be a repetition. None of that counts as an error. When a student is having difficulty pronouncing the words due to a speech impairment or a dialect issue, that is the way they pronounce the word. That is not counted as an error. And generally for scoring purposes, we might take note of punctuation errors, but we don't mathematically calculate those as errors in our scoring. Describe the three kinds of scores derived from an IRI. Once you've administered an IRI, we can get three different scores that really can give us some good information about instruction. One of the scores that we can get from an IRI is the text accuracy score, which we generally calculate as a percent correct. We do that by taking the number of errors that they made and subtract that from the total number of words read and then convert that to a percent correct score. Because we timed it, we can also get a fluency score, and we really describe how to do that kind of scoring in Module 2. The third score that we can get is uh, the comprehension score, because we administer those, those comprehension questions, and we score those generally as a ratio rather than a percentage, because there's only five or six or seven of those scores. We recommend just writing how many of the questions were correct over the total number of questions. So a student might have gotten five correct out of a total of eight. Their score would be five out of eight comprehension questions.